everyone, I'm Mahin, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Bangalore. Today I'll show you how to fix a permission denied or authentication fail permission denied error when you access your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Let's get started. These two errors occur in one of the following scenarios. You're trying to connect using the wrong username for the Amazon machine image that's used to launch the EC2 machine. SSH file permissions within the operating systems are incorrect on the instance. There is an incorrect SSH public key in the authorized keys file. The error looks like this. Let's see how to resolve each of these three causes. Look at the correct username for the user trying to access the EC2 for AMI in the Amazon EC2 user guide. The user guide link will be put in the video description. In this error, the EC2 user is the correct username for Amazon Linux instance that I'm using. This means we know that the wrong username is not the issue. Let's resolve the issue where the SSH file permissions aren't correct or SSH public key is incorrect or missing in authorized key file. Before you proceed, it's crucial that you confirm that SSH private key exists in valid format on your instance. If you don't have a public key in the right format, Create the key by referring to the Amazon EC2 user guide, create key pairs. The user guide link will be put in the video description. There are four methods given in article to perform this task of resolving the issue of SSH file permissions. Let's go through the one that uses the user data of the instance. This lets us run custom scripts on the instance during boot process. We'll use a single script to change the permission of SSH file and also to add new SSH public key in the authorized key file. Note that you must stop and then start your instance again for the user data to be applied. Now let's configure the user data scripts in the EC2 using the EC2 console. Open the EC2 console. Select the affected EC2 machine and then stop it. When it's stopped, select the machine and choose action. Then in instance setting, choose edit user data. Paste the script from the article in the dialog box. I'm trying to update the permission for EC2 user for my Amazon Linux machine and hence the script will look like this. You may tweak this value as per your operating system user. If you do not want to run the script every time on boot process or remove the user data script with another stop start, then you can modify the script to change the script hyphen user parameter to once instead of always. If you don't want to paste the new SSH key in the authorized keys file, you can remove this line from the script. You can get the value of this public key hash from your SSH private key file. You might also have a public key file. If that's true, then ignore this step and read the public key hash from this file. To learn more about describe public keys, see the user guide link provided in the video description. Read the PPK file using the text editor, for example, use Notepad. Then copy the public lines and craft a single string in the following format you see here. It will look like this string. After you get the public key hash and then paste the public key hash to the user data script. Choose save and start your instance. When your EC2 is in running stage, your user data scripts are run to perform the required task. Let's test the SSH connection now to the same EC2 machine. The issue is now resolved. This means that you can remove the user data scripts because they will run at every boot process. Now, because this issue is resolved using the user data, we can discuss the other methods as well. Without requiring a reboot using EC2 Instant Connect, you could go to your EC2 console, select the instance, click on Connect, and then choose EC2 Instant Connect, and then select Connect. Once this is done, you can run the commands given in the articles method to step 6, 
like I have done over here. After these commands are executed successfully, you can end this session and try to connect to your machine again. It should resolve the issue. Let's discuss the other method using the EC2 serial console. You can connect to bare metal and nitro EC2 instance to troubleshoot the SSH issues. If you don't have access to serial console or your instance is unreachable, then you can jump ahead to use the other methods. If your instance is supported and you have the access, you can directly connect to the EC2 serial console without any network configuration and make the changes using the same command that we used in the user data script to resolve the SSH issue. More details about how to connect to EC2 serial console are listed in the video description. You can run the workflow AWS support troubleshoot SSH automation, which is listed in the video description. If you have an SSH managed EC2 instance, you can connect to it using SSM session manager. Then you can run the same commands as used in user data script to resolve the issue. That is, you can use the echo command to paste the correct SSH key into authorized keys file and change the permission of SSH key with the ch mode ch own commands. And now you know how to fix a permission denied or authentication fail permission denied error when you access your EC2 instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.